Rinse her off very well. Wash her bottom. And I can get under here. I can see what's going on. I can spec the area. Get her rinsed off real good. Okay, you feel like you're pretty clean? Mm-hmm, I do. Okay. Water off here. Take my gloves off. Okay, let's get you covered up right away. going to take you out of the shower area here so I can come over here and get you dried off and get you dressed. Prior to starting a bed bath on a patient, it's important that the caregiver wash their hands thoroughly before coming to the bedside. Once the hands have been washed, it's important that the patient is told what is going to be happening, an explanation is given to them, and that privacy is provided. Privacy can be provided by pulling the curtain all the way around the patient. Because of the demonstration that we're doing today, that won't be possible, but in reality, you would want to be certain that it was total privacy prior to starting the bath. Then you will want to obtain all of the items necessary for giving the bath and place them on the overbed table. The items that you will want to have would be the basin for the water, the soap, some washcloths, usually two or three would be good, bath towels, several again would be important to have. You're going to want some lotion that you can use on the dry skin at a later point. Uh, nail clipper and orange stick for cleaning the uh, fingernails and toenails. Then a bath blanket for warmth as well as a clean gown. The other item that will, you want to have is a laundry hamper or a linen uh, container for the soiled linen after it's removed from the bed. It's important to have the bed at a comfortable working height for you, the caregiver. Once that has been achieved for good body mechanics, then the side rail can be lowered, but lowered only on the side of which you are working. Then you'll want to be uh, taking the top bedspread off, uh, re loosening it at the foot, folding it inside itself, making certain that you're not airing these uh, soiled linens, holding it away from your body, and then it can be placed into the laundry hamper. Once that's been done, then the bath blanket can be placed on top of your patient. This is going to uh, help provide privacy and it also is important for warmth. Many times even though the room might be comfortably warm for you, it is uh, cool once the patient uh, has water on them and uh, their skin becomes damp. Once the bath blanket has been applied, then the top sheet can be removed underneath the bath blanket. Sometimes patients are able to hold on to the bath blanket to assist in this, in our instance, the mannequin's not able to do that, so we're doing it uh, completely by ourselves. Once the bath blanket has been applied, then the side rail can go up, and it is not until this point that we obtain the water, and that's because we want to make certain that it's as warm as possible when the bath is started. So now the caregiver will go and get their water. Thank you.
The caregiver is back with the water in the basin and the water should be approximately 105 degrees. Now the side rail can be lowered and the patient's gown is removed. The patient's gown is loosened in the back. Sometimes they have straps, sometimes they'll have snaps. But you notice that the caregiver is being very careful to remove the gown, but yet not removing the bath blanket so that uh, there is a loss of privacy and warmth. So working underneath the bath blanket, the gown is removed and since it's soiled, it will be placed in the laundry hamper since a new one will be applied. Now that that's been done, I want to talk a minute about uh, washing with the washcloth for a bath. It works best if a mitt is made. And a mitt is a way to prevent water from uh, dripping on the patient and on the patient's linen. And it also is a way of controlling the washcloth. The caregiver has done it once, and I'd like her to slow it down now and show it in a little bit exaggerated slow motion. You notice that she's wrung it out of excessive water, and then she takes the washcloth and wraps it entirely around her hand, and then takes the other end, tucks it in at the palm level, and you notice there is not a lot of excessive water, and she has control of it, and it is stays on her hand. Um, now that that has been placed on her hand, she will take her other hand and pick up her towel and uh, put it across the patient's chest so it's available when she wants to dry the face. Always start with the face and the portion of the face that gets washed first always are the eyes. And you would use a separate portion of the washcloth and starting from the inside called the inner canthus and working outward on the eye. The eyes are cleaned and make certain that any uh, incrustation is removed and then the rest of the face can be washed. Most people do not have soap used on the face, uh, certainly not on the eyes. Sometimes they will ask, uh, and you could ask the, the person if they would like to have soap used on the rest of their face but remember never to use soap on the eyes. Then the rest of the face, the neck, and the ears get washed. Be certain that you don't get any, uh, uh, the washcloth too far into the ears. And then rinse your, and dry your uh, face, neck, and ears. It's time to move on to the hands. The far hand is washed first by placing it uh, in a basin of water. It allows the nails to become softened so that in addition to washing the hand and uh, carefully getting between the fingers, the hand can also be uh, cleaned by utilizing a nail clipper or what's what is called an orange stick. And by having the hand soak a little bit in the water, it softens up the soil that might be underneath the nail. After You notice that the hand has been placed in the basin, which has been placed on the, the uh, toweling. It allows the hand to be uh, washed and dried without getting excess water on the linens. You would then move to the opposite hand once this has been completed. <clears throat> Important to note dryness of skin and applying lotion as necessary. It'll be an individual call uh, whether or not lotion needs to be applied. 